Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos, but today we're back at it again with another favorites video. I love filming these because um, they're honestly just like a really nice point of reflection for me, and they just provide me a sec to really like decide what I've been loving, and then I love to share it with you guys um, because I love both giving and getting product directs. So, yeah, it's just something really fun for me to do. Um, so I do these monthly. Um, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. It really supports my channel. Um, I post vlogs, favorites, vids, fashion stuff, a little bit of everything. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right on into it. Um, I have a combo platter here. I have some like skincare stuff, some jewelry, some like accessories, some like a drink, um, some books some podcasts, things like that. So yeah, we're gonna be a little all over the place, but I'll be sure to link everything down below for you guys. So if you miss something or whatever, then you can just pop um, down below and get the link. So, okay, the first thing, I recently decided to introduce retinol into my skincare routine. And I, so I love the brand Eva Naturals and so I knew that I wanted to go with this brand's retinol because I've had such luck with their vitamin C serum. It completely changed my skin. Um, and so I went ahead and I picked this up and I've already seen such amazing results. First of all, this product is super affordable. So if you're just going to try out retinol, I'd recommend getting one like this. Super clean ingredients. Um, like literally I know what everything is in it. Um, it also has vitamin E and hyaluronic acid in it and it's just a serum. So I've actually only been doing it once to twice a week. I actually tried doing it three times a week and it was too much for my skin and I started to get like um, dry skin and my dermatitis to happen again. So I would say really ease into it, but I have noticed dark spots go away and I've noticed that overall my complexion is just like becoming a lot smoother and more glowy and more honestly just like, I don't wanna say flawless, but like less, I don't know. It's just, it's really helped my skin. That's all I can say. So I'll link this one down below. I really love their products again. Um, and I think retinol is such a great um, addition to anyone's skincare routine. I really wouldn't start using a harsh retinol in the summer just because it does make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Um, so keep those things in mind. Um, stay out of the sun, just in general, whether or not you're using retinol, like stay out of the sun use a good sun hat um but yeah i would say like this is a pretty low grade retinol and i would give it a shot if i were you um next is just dainty gold jewelry so i started with this when my so my girlfriend gave me this for graduation um and it just has three little diamonds because there are three of us and um it's so sweet and thoughtful and i absolutely love it but it got me really on like the dainty jewelry vibe because i always wear i'm just gonna I always wear this necklace, um, which is from Ross Simons. I've had it forever and I love it. Um, and then I got this guy um, a little over a month ago from Majuri and I love it. You can like, it's super dainty, just has like a little diamond on the end and you can adjust it and it just, I just think it's super pretty. And then I've been wearing these earrings. I wish I could like as well. Um, and as you can see, I just layer them with my little mini hoops um, and just have these. And I just think it's so like feminine and summery and pretty and such a vibe for the summer. So dainty jewelry in general. Madewell, these are from Madewell actually, and they have a delicate line that I think some of the stuff is beautiful on. So I'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys. Um, and I think Majuri just in general does such a great job with stuff. I have pieces from Majuri that have lasted me like this little thingy um, has lasted me so long and it's all gold filled, which I really appreciate. Not all of it, but um, like they say if it is. And I just think they do a really, really awesome job. So Dainty Gold Jewelry has been a major fave for me this month. Next, this is my tried and true. I've mentioned this in a favorites video before, but I'm gonna mention it again. It's my um, slip silk scrunchies, not just the hair ties. I love the hair ties, but the scrunchies have just been hitting diff for me lately because I'm able to just pull my hair back in a low bun 
and it stays secure and the silk really like i'm not even kidding you my mom and i always say we will never use anything other than slip again because it just keeps your hair first of all it keeps it secure and it also does so without creating like classic hair ties how they create those lines in your hair and create breakage this does not um happen with the silk ones so i really recommend that you invest in these um i love them i literally have so many laying around and i only ever use slip silk scrunchies um and hair ties or claw clips which i love too um but always using those um and also another thing i want to mention is if you have any sort of light in your room i really am um suggest you invest in one of their sleep masks i wear my sleep mask from silk every night and i also have two silk slip pillowcases that i like sleep with actually i have three blake has one too for his hair um but i literally like i will never sleep on another pillowcase again it's so lush and it just makes you feel so good and cozy now i like want to get in my bed my bed was so comfy last night you guys i slept like an angel and i think part of the reason i slept so well was because I drank a draw. Um, so that brings me to my next favorites, uh, or favorite, which is these drums. See, the thing is, is I wasn't gonna mention them because they're kind of hard to find, but in Chicago, at least, they have them at Foxtrot and Real Good, and I know you can order them by the case, so I'll just link their website down below. They're so good. So this one is regular. It doesn't have anything in it. Um, it's just an herbal sparkling water. They just taste so refreshing and good, and they have such like a slight taste. They're my favorite things ever. Um, but they also have ones that have CBD in them. And I will rarely like do any form of CBD. Um, but I used to take it a few years ago to help me go to sleep at night. And then I got off the CBD train like hard for a while. I just was not into it um, because it was making my dreams very vivid. Um, but I saw that Drum at Foxtrot had a CBD um had one with just like a little bit of cbd in it and so it's called the beauty bubbles and so i got that and last night i drank it and literally i was so calm and relaxed it was very nice i will say like i don't drink i don't like do any sort of drugs or anything um but i did feel a very nice sense of just like anti-anxiety from the low dose of cbd that was in the drink um and yeah it was really good so drama in general but the CBD one, Beauty Bubbles, hits stiff and it has like so many different um, herbs in it that are meant to help your skin and stuff like that. I just really love their brand in general. Like they do a really good job. So love that. Um, okay, next is uh, this brow soap that I got from Amazon. And so it's by Best Land Brow Styling Soap. This stuff works like a charm. So you literally just go in with one of these little brushes you get this wet and then you just like boom 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 and then brush your brows up i just love like the bushy brow look lately and this really helps me get it and then what i would say is let this dry a little bit and then go it like five minutes later just go over it again and your brows will be super secure and like stay which i really appreciate um and it just makes them look so good so yeah this stuff is also super affordable from amazon love it simple good to the point gets you that nice like glowy face with the retinol bushy brows with the brow soap that vibe and obviously a natural lip and cheek um which brings me to my next phase which is the clinique chubby stick in whole lot of honey i've been using this stuff since high school i love it it's such a good like color it's so natural which i love and what I love about it is I'll put it on like my cheeks, my nose, obviously my lips and my um, eyelids just for like a little bit of glow, like summer glow. Like literally right now I'm just wearing moisturizer and that and I feel so good and like confident and a little, I actually have the brow soap on too. But like just, you get what I'm saying, like natural summer girl vibe, hot girl summer. So I love this. Um, I'll link it down below for you guys. It's the best of ever, and one of them lasts you so freaking long. Um, next, I've talked about this before, but I've been so into it, and I think it's just because it's such like a summer 
smell like the honey infused vibe um but it's this just so um hair perfume i love putting this on especially like i'm gonna put some on right now honestly but especially because so i've been trying to wash my hair oh my god i got on my face but i've been trying to wash my hair like three or so times a week um or less honestly um but i do hot yoga and so i i don't know i just want to keep my hair super shiny and like beautiful and i just feel like that helps because i'm trying to grow my hair really long and i feel like the hair perfume helps and just helps to keep my hair smelling good and i always shower and wash my hair after hot yoga for the most part um unless it's like not a sweaty class but it's just a nice little like refresher for the days that i don't wash my hair um and like i don't know if you can see but it adds like a sheen like a nice shine to your hair and it makes it smell so good but it doesn't dry your hair out which i appreciate so so much because i used to spray just like regular perfume on my hair and it would not be a vibe so yeah definitely go for that um the next thing is actually right behind me so i'm gonna show you and it's okay it doesn't actually look that good right now but it's flower arrangements i'm super into just like nice little like pretty florals um for the summer so this is one i did just with trader joe's roses and some eucalyptus and i'm definitely like novice at best but i'm getting there and it's fun and it's like first of all trader joe's like come on they have the most affordable flowers ever and they're the best they last like two weeks like i have some in my bedroom that are white roses that we've had for over two weeks now and they're still like looking good so that but then also it's just fun to like switch it up you know not just do white roses like grab the eucalyptus it's like three bucks and put it in with the white roses and like i just love it and it makes me feel so at home and at ease and just like happy in my space and just like really helps me set the tone especially for like the mornings and evenings um when i like light my candles i have this i play a really good playlist which brings me to my next favorite i feel like i'm really transitioning well between these i don't know if that's just me but transitions today um and it's a playlist by kenzie burke so i'll link it down below her spotify is kenzie eb and it's her soul vibration playlist it's such a vibe it's like just like very good like spiritual like it makes me feel like i'm just like getting me into a meditative state like it's just so good um and i love just in general kenzie burke like i really really like her you guys um and i have yeah she i just think she's a really cool person so i listen to her podcast too but um her spotify is fire and that playlist soul vibrations is like really good um so uh, yeah so good um and then in terms of i've been trying to do like less material items just because i feel like i talk about material items so much on my youtube channel and like i don't know i just think it's important to find other favorites besides just like material things that you need to like go buy you know um so like that spotify playlist and like flowers which are something that like you just like brings you so much joy you know and i don't know but um, the next one is the What We Said podcast. I've been listening to that because I heard about, they had like a hometown horrors where they had like people send in crazy things that happens in their hometowns. And so that's how I found out about the podcast, but I was listening to an embarrassing stories one today. Some of them were like kind of lame, but the other ones were really funny. Um, and I just, I like them. They're really like, they seem like cool girls. So I've been loving the What We Said podcast and I haven't listened to the Redheads podcast yet, but it's a book club and I really like Jackie Oshry, um on Instagram. She's really like, she always posts book recs. I get a lot of book recs from her actually and she just seems really cool. So that's like an Instagram, just like side note, um, Jackie Oshry. Um, But I found out about this book called Beach Read, I think from Jackie actually either jackie or kenzie elizabeth um i think and it was really good so that's another favorite is the book beach read um i don't know who it's by i'll link it down below but it was really good and it was like a fun beach read honestly and don't read the synopsis because the book's not really like 
the synopsis doesn't do a good job of explaining what's actually going on in the book so um there's so much more to the book and i really liked it i thought that it was like a nice like it was funny and there was like a hint of romance and um it was just a feel-good book in general like i really enjoyed it um and i think a lot of you guys would too um i've been loving reading lately you guys know that especially on my kindle it's just such a vibe and i can literally my favorite thing is that my big boo i'm a fanny pack i can put my kindle in it so blake and i on fridays because so my boyfriend blake he's in real estate and commercial real estate so he's not like selling homes but um he works in rosemont because he does industrial and like a lot of the industrial properties are in the suburbs so anyways but he works in the city most fridays so before he goes into work um we'll go to like blue bottle or something and get coffee and he'll start working just on his laptop um and i'll read my book so i love like doing that like that's another fave i guess just like friday mornings with like um and like fri just like summer fridays in the city is like so fun um but yeah it's like one of my favorite things to do is just sit and have a coffee and read and like be by the river or by the lake or like just outside in general um so good um not only have i been loving reading but i've also been loving audiobooks lately um so i decided to get an audible membership because i just felt like it made sense for me um and i'm so happy i did so i read so i actually really struggled to get through in the flow in in like the um written so i have it in the written but i also decided to pick up the audible version of it and i'm so glad i did because i feel like i retained so much more information in the audio than i did in just like reading it um so that was my first audible and now i'm reading open wide by melissa ambrosini i'm almost done with it and i'm loving it um it's actually free on audible and that's what i've realized is like a lot of really great books are free on audible um if you have a membership and i think i got like three months free on audible or something i don't know um there are so many different like things i don't even know but um, Open Wide by Melissa Ambrosini. She just talks a lot about like self-love, how to be, how to like first love yourself so that you can like present yourself as like your best self in relationships. Um, and she tells a little bit of her story. I just really like it in general and it's narrated by her, which I love. Um, and yeah. Um, okay, so my final favorite is, I'm not even wearing one right now, so I feel like I can't even talk about it, but it's just in general monochromatic sets. Like onesies, sports bra, leggings, sports bra, biker shorts, like any vibe of that. Like I have a matching little cream sports bra. This is that Amazon set that everyone's obsessed with, but um, like I just think it's so cute. And the thing that I love is that you can make your own. Like you don't need to go buy a monochromatic set. You can like, let's say you have a gray sports bra and gray leggings, just pair it together and who cares if they're like a little bit different colors like i think it'll still look good um and like sometimes that can be a vibe too but in general just like even if it's just like monochromatic black set like that's my favorite personally i love just like a plain black like black sports bra black leggings black hat i think it looks like a vibe um but there's also like set active which i have a couple of their sets and i really love them um there's like obviously the amazon ones i'll link some down below but just in general like monochromatic sets are such a vibe this summer and you can go on your hot girl walks you can get hydrated get your coffee do your thing in your monochromatic set it just makes you feel put together if you know what i mean like if i'm wearing a green sports bra and green leggings i feel so much more put together than a green sports bra and black leggings you know so yeah go get yourself a monochromatic set or make your own and yeah okay you guys that's all i have for you today um but thank you guys so much for watching if you have any favorites that you have been loving right now comment them down below or dm me on instagram um my insta is always linked down below and i love hearing about things that you guys are loving or things that you guys think i would love so yeah um but thank you guys again for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys